All right. So this is the Family Credit homepage. It's familycredit.org. And uh, as you can see there, so from any of our website pages, all you have to do is click this, uh, this little menu icon in the top right corner of the screen. And you go to resources, and this will take you to our resources page. Um, so we've been doing this a really long time, and we're constantly trying to develop new things and figure out how we can better help people in our community. So with obviously everything going on with COVID-19 right now, it's, uh, it's a tough time for a lot of people. There are a lot of people hurting uh, financially more so than they were before. Um, people that weren't hurting before financially now are hurting. Um, and it's incredibly stressful, um, the whole thing. So what we did is we put together a little, a little guide, um, some actionable things that you can do to maybe uh, help really leave some of that stress. Um, obviously, we're not going to be able to take it all away, um, but hopefully there's something that can at least help. So if you're interested, all you got to do is click get the guide um, and kind of go through it there. So the first thing up here is going to be our uh, personal finance made easy course. Um, so this is great. Um, one of the big things that people are missing a lot of times is a real um, money management education. So um, that's what this was created to help address. Um, it talks about things like establishing goals, creating a spending plan, uh, ways to realistically save money, and managing bank accounts, how to begin investing. So if you wanted to go through this, it's completely self-paced. Obviously, there's not a teacher or anything, uh, but you can always reach out to us with questions. Um, you just email counseling at familycredit.org. That's counseling at familycredit.org. Um, put Can TV in the title, and any questions you come up with, we'll be happy to talk about. Um, so just go ahead and click Download Course here, and then download the guide now. So, and this is just a PDF. It, um, you can download it from your phone, download it from your computer, however you want to access it. Um, waiting for it to load. Okay, yep. So you scroll down, as you can see, it's 92 pages. So uh, it's, a, it's a time consumer. It's not something you're going to get through all in one day. And it's not something that you should. Um, but you can go through, you can do a self-assessment, see kind of where you're at, spending, um, talks about a whole lot of different topics that you may be familiar with, some you may not be familiar with. Um, so it's a really good thing. One of my favorite ones, we're going to go to all the way down to the end here, um, is my financial account calendar. Um, so this gives you some different things you should do each time of year once you come through it, because a lot of this stuff kind of slips our minds. Like, um, starting a Christmas savings account in summer. A lot of people don't do that. They try to get it all together right at the end um, or start in the fall when really doing it in summer can prepare you much, much better. Um, things like revisiting 100 Small Ways to Save, which is another one of our resources that we're going to be talking about here in just a minute. So um, that's really good when you have some time. So back at our resources page here, uh, the next one is this 100, ways to, 100 Small Ways to Save Big, which is the one we just talked about. Uh, so this is great. There's a lot of different tips in here that you may not have thought of to help save some money. Um, so it's 12 different pages. There's little topics here. Um, and it breaks it down by categories and lets you make a little commitment here. I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I've already done it. Or it doesn't apply to me because let's face it, a lot of the savings tips out there don't apply to everybody all the time. In fact, rarely they apply to everybody. So there are some big ones um, that are kind of called out here, like $500 plus a month, $1,000 not a month, a year, $1,000 plus a year. Um, so things like that, that you can really take a look at with your family and see different places you might be able to come back or um, cut back or different places that uh, different habits you may need to change um, that could really, really help. So after 100 small ways to save big, our next thing we have is Catherine and Elizabeth go shopping. So this is fantastic. This was um, 
written by Sarah Beth. She's been with us for a very long time. Um, and we'll have her on the show here uh, sometime for sure. But um, this is a children's book that we created um, to really help you talk to kids about money. Because uh, that's a really difficult conversation to have because you don't necessarily want to um, be talking to them about your specific budget or how much money that you're making and how much money you're spending on different things. Um, so this book was designed to give that discussion a starting point. Um, and we have a whole website on it, Catherine and Elizabeth go or Catherine and Elizabeth.com, excuse me, um, that has some different tips on how to start that conversation as well. So you can just click the link. Um, if you want to order a copy of this, uh, there's no charge for that. You just click, get your copy, fill out a little form and we'll send you one in the mail. Uh, we'd be glad to do that. So the personal spending plan, this one's great. A lot of people like this because uh, budgeting can be a really scary word for a lot of people. Um, and a lot of people just don't know how to do it. And that's okay. It's not something that's taught regularly. Um, and one of the biggest things that people don't do when they're trying to create a budget is write it down. Um, they really try to do it in their head a lot, or they jot down a few notes here and there, um, but they don't do it very thoroughly. They miss a lot of things. Um, so we created the My Spending Plan to really help out with that. So again, this is something that you can just go and download on your own. Um, you don't have to be a client or anything. Um, it talks about good places to start uh, and things you need. So. Hell, it talks about setting goals, which is huge. Um, is you can budget, but if you're not setting any goals, well, what are you working towards? Um, you want to pay off those credit cards, or you want to save up for college tuition, or uh, you want to pay off some medical bills, or you want to buy a new car, or buy a new TV, whatever the goal is. Um, you need to write those goals down. Um, make them realistic, and this kind of talks a lot about that kind of stuff. Um, so it goes through, it helps you determine your income, um, breaks it down by category, has some tips for freeing up some extra cash, um, has a place for you to list all your different credit cards and store card, bank and store cards. Um, so you can really visualize everything. Um, some different categories on how much you should be spending for each category for the average family. Um, it's not gonna be exactly the same for everybody, but these are some really good goals to have. Um, expenses. So a lot of these things people don't really um, necessarily think of, like they're not thinking about all of the different subscriptions they have or the amount they tie of the church or donate to um, charities or how much fuel, or they're not including routine maintenance stuff that they might do quarterly or something. Um, so make sure you break that all down and fill that out thoroughly. Um, it gives you some tips on what you can maybe do. Um, to help improve it, um, some things you can do with your savings, uh, looking at some different investment stuff. So it's really, really um, got a personal inventory list here. So this is a really, really good resource, uh, especially if you're not super well versed in budgeting and savings yourself. So, and then we have a bunch of different financial calculators on here. So um, rolling down credit card debt, uh, should your spouse be working in student spending calculator, retirement plan, or all sorts of stuff. Um, so that's really good. You can go in there um, and tie that back in with this, um, to help you set those goals for the spending plan and for your budget um, to really figure out what you need to be doing to help yourself out. Um, so, and if you're ready to get started, you can call this number right here, 877-322-8319. Um, um, it's a toll free number. Um, if you want to talk to somebody, it doesn't, you don't even have to be interested in our program, but if you want to talk to somebody about uh, just budgeting and um, getting some tips and taking a look at your credit and seeing where, where, where you can improve and what you can do, um, are happy to do that for you. 